Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at E-Trailer and today we are looking at the Kua NV 2.0 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now the Kua NV is one of my favorite bike racks when it comes to the premium range of bike racks. It has everything you can expect, super heavy duty weight capacity, integrated locks and an extra repair stand because why not? Now we're going to take a look at one of the features which is that it can tilt the weight. To do so, you pull this lever right here and just allow it to drop down to a tilt. And you'll want to do that if you want to access your hatch. So as you can see here on our Rogue, there is plenty of clearance between our door and our handlebars, meaning we can get into our trunk, maybe grab our water, grab our bags, grab our helmets, all without having to take our bike off, which is nice, is convenient, and it gets you out onto the trail a lot faster. And when you wanna bring your bike rack up, you just lift up and then it snaps right into place. So this has a weight capacity of 60 pounds per bike. So if you have your heavy electric bikes, that's gonna be really useful for that. We'll also talk about how our bike is mounted to this bike rack. Do you see how this has a front wheel clamp? I like that because I have a carbon frame fiber, a carbon fiber frame bike here. And if I use a traditional bike rack, which has hooks that come down to that frame, I'm going to be worried about it warping or, crack, or cracking my frame. But with this front wheel hook, I don't have to worry about that. Also, if I have alternate frame bikes, like women's bikes, children's bikes, step-through bikes with a really low frame, this kind of a clamp means I don't have to get a frame adapter bar. Let's also talk about our back wheel. So here we have a wheel strap holding our rear wheel into place. This is where you start when you want to take your bike off. So you press that lever and then you pull up on that strap and then you leave it to the side so it doesn't get tangled up in your spokes. Then you come over here to the front and please remember to hold on to your bike as you do so because the instant you release that clamp, it's going to tilt back unless you're holding on to it. So press that button, lift up on that hook, Push that out, and from here, it's just a slight lift, and you're ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So we have that rear tray here in the back. You can also get the access ramp from Kuwa, the Kuwa Envy access ramp, which is going to clip to the side, and that way you can ramp your bikes up and off the bike rack. So if you have an extra heavy bike, you might want to really consider that instead of having to lift it. You have this rear strap that comes down and ratchets down to secure that wheel. You also have an integrated cable here in the back and that's going to wrap around each of your bikes. Coming here to the front, you have a front wheel cradle. So see how that has those different grooves for your different tire widths? The maximum tire width this cradle can accommodate is tire widths of up to five inches. Now the Kua Envy comes with a single fat bike strap adapter. So if you have two fat bikes, meaning if they have five inch tires, then you're gonna have to get another one. But normally tires are up to three inches when it comes to width. You also have this front wheel clamp. I talked about that earlier. Another of its features is it also has that groove as well as a slight padding on the inside just to make it a bit more secure as it ratchets down to secure that rear wheel. Now, please note that when you do have your bikes off of your bike rack, please, please, please put the straps away into their mounts. Even if they're not holding onto the bike, it's nice to keep them in place so they're not flopping around as you drive around. All right, so whenever you have a bike rack behind your vehicle, there's gonna be some length added to the back of it. So we're gonna take some measurements just to see exactly how much. Here on the rear bumper of our Rogue, all the way to the end of the bike rack, which is by that bike repair stand, we have it at 29 and a quarter inches. Now that's pretty normal for a two bike platform style rack, but still remember that distance, especially when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot. Let's also take a look at ground clearance. So underneath the tray to the ground, it sits at 21 and a half inches. And then underneath the shank to the ground, it sits at 12 inches. 
Now, ground clearance is important when you're going up steep inclines like driveways or hills. When you do go up those areas, the fact that your bikes are sitting a little bit further up than your shank is going to be important because then you have more distance and your bikes are going to be safer that way because as the front goes up, the bottom goes down. Let's take another look at let's take a look at another of its features, which is that when you pull this lever, you also get to fold the bike rack up into a portable position. Let's take some measurements. So measuring from our rear bumper to the end of the tray, it sits at about five and a quarter inches. Now we do have it sticking out a bit further, right where the anti rail knob is. So that's gonna sit at 11 and a half inches. As for closest point, we have an inch and a half of clearance between our bike rack and our vehicle. And it looks like it's just a little bit, but you have to remember that the Kuwait NV is a super sturdy bike rack and that's the closest it's gonna get. You don't have to worry about any contact between your bike rack and your car. Another thing about the Kuwait NV is that you have this repair stand. So this comes out and it also goes up if you want to. And that way, if you do have to make any repairs on your bike when you're out on the trail or out on the road, this makes it quick and easy to do so. With it folded up like this, you can see our rear window is open. Our tail lights are visible. The backup camera sits right over there and that's above your bike rack. So you're gonna still get most of your view with your bike rack folded up like this. Your license plate is also visible. If you have the Kuwait NV base version, which does not have this bike repair stand, it's gonna be even more visible in this position. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this one has a two inch solid shank and that fits into our two inch hitch, which is on our Nissan Rogue. It comes with a hitch pin and a lock. Now that lock is key like to the cable lock that you find at the end of each tray. That way you only need one key to unlock both your bikes and your bike rack. We also have the hitch pin alignment collar. That's because the Kuwait NV is kind of heavy. So when you do have it in your, in your hitch, you don't really want to be looking around and trying to adjust everything to make sure it's lined up. I highly recommend adding that so it just sits on your shank for when you're re ready to go. It's a tool free install. So all you need to do is pop it into your hitch and tighten it down with this knob. So with that knob fully tightened, you can see how as I shake our bike rack, I'm mainly shaking our vehicle at this point, showing that any extra rattle or sway you feel on the road is because of the road and not from an improper connection between your bike rack and your vehicle, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. All right, so my final thoughts about the Kuwait NV on our Nissan Rogue is I really like how it looks. Kuwait always has really good looking bike racks. This is the version in gray, but it also comes in metallic black. If you get the base version without the repair stand, you can get in that back. They all work the same. They all work really well, but they have those nice features in just different colors. I like how I get to tilt the weight to access my hatch and with it folded up, I have full access and visibility when it comes to my lights and my license plate. So that was a look at the Kuwait NV 2.0 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Nissan Rogue.